All of these coconut palm trees I'm in my zone when you call me Rich in my neck it was icy I'm liking everything I see Now you holding my hand, kiss on the cheek Things you won't get in the state Damn you in shape I like how your jeans be hugging and fitting So my question is why? Why is it that the younger generation um, why, why do you guys not do that? Why do you not walk up to women anymore? Um, why do you not try to go further along after you've gotten the number and uh, start an initial conversation? Was the, was it, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm so new to the dating world, this new generation. Is it you're intimidated? Because I know about intimidation. Uh, dudes are just done, like dating is cooked. So in the West, everything that you're talking to and referring to is everything like post 2020s. Because since 2019, I believe a report came out that when they polled men, uh, them having romance or having a wife in their life, if that was important to them. And a lot of men said, no, it wasn't. And it was like 51 percent of men. And then they figured that women between the ages of 20 to 40 years old would be single, childless and manless by the year 2030. And what's happening right here is this happened to her. So, ma'am, I understand why you're making a video. Let me guess. This happened to you and you're dealing with guys that are in this generation and that are going off of the rules of what's going on now. And you're seeing that panic mode has ensued. Like dudes are just gone, man. They're just not going to deal with women that got tattoos on their arms that have, you know, battle scars and trauma. They're just not going to deal with the baggage. So a lot of guys are just done. They're done dating. They're going MGTOW or they're getting their passport. Why don't men like brunches? Y'all got to start coming to these brunches. That's where all the pretty girls be at, literally. With their little colorful outfits. They take their hoodies off, their t-shirts off. And then that's where they be, all the working class women, nice nurses and stuff. Like, y'all be missing out. Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> men do not care. I don't know. I don't know why women don't understand. Men do not care about... A uh, working class woman, a woman that got a career, that's a boss babe, got her own money. Men don't care about none of that. And definitely, we don't give a fuck about brunch. No, like, men don't do that. Men are working. Men don't have time to play these games. Why do women want us to come into their space so they can feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying, to show off certain men? It's because they are going through panic mode, guys. They're going through withdrawals. And the thing is, all the things that this woman and the woman that she's referring to is talking about that, you know, men should come out for men don't give a fuck about like, ma'am, men do not care about none of that. The thing is, what you're looking for type of men that you're looking for is for a validation, attention, time, effort. Men don't got time for that. It's 2024. Dudes are getting bags. Dudes are getting multiple sources of income. They're in the gym and they have options. They don't have time to go to brunch. What? No wonder these women are single. They don't even know what men are looking for. They don't know nothing about us. They just want our validation and our attention. That's all that matters. That is the currency, guys. Don't give it away for free because that's what they're doing. This is, this is a bait and switch, bro. Crazy. Just finished my date and... I am so embarrassed. He came and so the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to and it was a little too expensive, but I, I don't know, I asked my sister for money. So we went, I had this dress on and everything and I had my hair out. Like, you know guys, I cut it, but it wasn't like this. I had it parted a little bit. And so I went in and he was like looking around like, oh, like he was looking for somebody else. And I was like, okay, I'm like, hey, I'm Tia. And then he was like, Tia. Oh like, yeah, it's for me from BLK. And then we he was like looking confused and he told me to sit down. So I sat down. I smiled and he didn't smile back at me. And then he was like, I don't look like my pictures. I do look like my pictures. I Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. I, I'm going to insert out of the end of the video the picture I put in. Bro. <laughs> Bro, where do I start? Why do you come to a date or meet up with a guy on a date looking like you served 50 years to life at Rikers <laughs> with that beanie on and your blues? Like, what the? Bro, I know what she was trying to do. 
like, first of all, she capped. She don't look nothing like that. I don't know if she was trying to look like Lizzo or whatever, but she was actually trying to go off the real montage because she's been listening to too much Beyonce and have this overinflated sense of ego and self-worth and solipsism to think that she's on par with the most attractive women or at least mildly attractive women on the same planet that she walks around in. And what she was trying to do is she was trying to dress that way and see this guy so the guy can supposedly like her for her because that is her actual look. But she only posed in those pictures and all that stuff for attention and validation. And then when she went to go meet the guy, she started dressing like Beanie Siegel. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> she started dressing like Beanie Siegel from State Property. And it's like, what do you expect to get out of this? Like, and who is actually taking like the plunge and like, is this down bad? He's dating her. Like looking like that, like you might as well just retire from dating. Like, I don't even know how you're getting dates whatsoever. Dressing like the homie. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. I have two male friends. I've known them since middle school and I've gotten drunk with both of them and no weird shit. Never. Time. So you think if they, if given the option, if they would like, be like, Yo, girl, shut the fuck up. You being dumb. All right. We're going to put it to the test. Hannah, go and get the phone. What's up? Come give me some date. Excuse me? Come give me some date right now. Real don't ever call my phone saying some crazy shit like that because i know you don't mean that it's insane why are you saying it though like come on bro like just pull up on me stop playing why not bro you tripping like i i'm drunk and i want some d and you my friend and i feel like we've been friends for a long time and i feel like like we know each other well enough that you should just be able to come through if you really want to ma'am i do it but i would still be thinking you're not serious like i, I just see how far you would go just to tell you like psych nigga i'm serious so you would pull up on me right now if you was in georgia yes yeah. are still men <laughs> There is no such thing as a platonic guy. Why the fuck else would he be there? He's been trying to beat them chicks the whole time, but he's just been too pussy to tell you straight up and ahead. Hey, I like you. I find you sexually attractive and let's get it in. And if you would have pushed him away, like, all right, cool. Get the fuck out of here. And he goes, talks to the next chick. But dudes are so pitiful and women act so oblivious. But when they actually hear it come out the guy's mouth and it's like sincere, they act surprised. It's like <laughs> men don't want to be a friend to you men don't want to be your pillow pet men don't want to do that men want to smash and if you add value to him a lot of value and you guys hit it off or whatever then he'll possibly give you a relationship that's just how it goes i don't know why women play these stupid games like they don't know that men are trying to smash them especially the dudes in their friend zones that are too lame to tell them straight up i'm trying to smash crazy bitches you been taking this shit too way too far just because prostitution is legal and Cali don't mean you creative ass bitches got to do this. Y'all know y'all should be ashamed. You know what I'm saying? That whole advertising that pussy. Women are in dire need at this point if they're putting out ads with their actual face and saying, do you need to be well a real woman? Would you like her? It's like, what the hell? That's how you know they're in dire need of validation, attention, time, and men's dinero, dollar dollar bills of their resources. And women want to siphon those every single time. But yeah, prostitution is legal in California. And yeah, this is really going overboard. This is sad, bro. Pretty soon we're going to be seeing these all over the place on all types of lamp poles throughout the Southland here in Los Angeles. And it's going to look like a bunch of milk cartons, the back of them, how they used to be. Have you seen this person? But it's just not going to be that. It's going to be an OnlyFans link. And it's going to be, hey, Big Daddy, you need a baddie in your life or something stupid like that. And the idiot's going to rip the... <laughs> the, the ticket off and call the number it's ridiculous man the future is sad very bleak and sad get your passport that's why guys leaving that's why they're dating overseas and getting their bread here guy is giving you too much attention mm -hmm. what does that do for you major turn off why i think it's i don't know it's kind of unhealthy to say but there's just like too much of a good thing, not a good thing. There's no chase. There's no, mm -hmm. there's no grab point. So because it maybe feels like validation seeking, mm -hmm. they're checking in all the time to see. Yeah. Or oftentimes it can come off as controlling. Mm -hmm. Where, what are you doing? What are you up to? Mm -hmm. Okay. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? This is why we're doomed. This is why I would not want to be 18 years old. I said this before, shout out to the 18 year olds, but I would not want to be 18 right now in this time period, in this generation. 
the way modern women's mindsets are is absolutely ridiculous. Men are just looked at right now as a commodity for resources, time, attention, and anything to give them some type of a dopamine hit, anything to let them know that they can get this princess treatment because women at, at this juncture and at this time period have become so spoiled. Women have been so vain and they've shown their hypergamy in their hand so often that just listening to them just lets me know why they're deteriorating in the dating market and becoming slimmer and slimmer in the race to get a chance with a guy that they actually would have to you know love admire and respect and they're becoming invisible even to those guys because it's mindset because women just compartmentalize men nowadays this is what happens when you give women only fans you give them anything high positions where they're making a certain amount of money they become independent of who they become independent of men and now this is why guys just pump these women chuck these women and they lose their oxytocin just like this woman right here who's just itching for some type of pair bonding with the man but doesn't know where to start because her mind is tainted she has become completely bitter and jaded from the fact that in order to do so your mind and your memory of the sisterhood has to be completely wiped clean and if it's not completely wiped clean then guess what's going to happen you're going to continue to look for something that you were not going to be able to obtain because you listened to the advice of the chat GBT bot and all it got you was pump dumped and sent back and then rebox but I'm not I'm not even tripping bro I'm used to this this is why I say get your passport go overseas deal with some real women there were some women that are actually feminine deal with women who are not just completely programmed and have yourself a good time why spend your time here trying to date when you can go overseas and get your passport and go become a man you can become a man that knows the language, learn the language, you know, saying get some assets here in the United States. Have that be the driving force as to how you get your passport, why you get your passport and plan accordingly. I love y'all. I'm going to do the same thing. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, man, that's the end of the video. Make sure you guys like the video, sub to the channel, post notifications on it, comment for the algorithm because I'm back on top. Like always, Bounty Villains up. Mastodon's down. Let's get it. Let's go. We're on a road to 40K. We're pretty much almost there. I love you all. I got to get back up to cooking this content any way possible. I love y'all. Thank you for supporting me. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. All right. I'm going to see y'all. Peace. And get that passport.